Hey guys, Jason Newton on the Soul, and I, I've got something cool I'm going to show you. Uh, and it's appropriate this today because it's kind of throwback Thursday. And uh, it's a picture that I've just picked up from the framers, which is just very, very cool. A um, little bit of artistic license here with it, but um, this is an awesome picture of Gary Gate doing the Air Gate. Uh, it's a limited edition print. And it's actually signed, hopefully you can see that, there by Paul and Gary, which is very, very cool. And um, if you're not familiar with this image, it's quite difficult for me to hold on the camera and actually we'd see it's quite a big, uh, big frame. If you're not familiar with this image, um, have a look on YouTube, I've seen it already here on YouTube, and just search Airgate. So I'm hoping that everybody knows who Gary Gate is. I mean, if you don't, um, I'll excuse you for not knowing who Gary Gates is if you're new to lacrosse. But Gary Gates, you know, is arguably one of the top players ever to have picked up a stick. Um, and also his twin brother, Paul Gate. Um, you know, they were true game changers. And this move here, the A Gate, where he actually you know, ran from behind the goal and leapt over the goal and dunked it in. Now this was first done in the 1988, um, I think it was the uh, semi-finals against Penn. And it's, you know, it's there on YouTube for you to go and watch, you know, and it was a game-changing moment in lacrosse history. And it's kind of captured here, not against Penn, and you know, like I say, a little bit of artistic license, because um, I'm not sure who they're meant to be playing in this image. Um, Looks like it might be North Carolina, given the uh, uniforms. But, um, say, a little bit of art artistic license, but just captures, you know, that kind of iconic moment that Gary Gate just leaps over the back of the cage and just dunks the ball in. And it is a fantastic image. Actually, not too sure who this is by. It's just got the name Alan signed in the corner. So I might have to uh, check it out and see who this is actually by. And um, I've played lacrosse for kind of 31, maybe 32 years now. You, you stop counting after a while. But um, when my brother and I started playing, you know, the, the Syracuse teams were just awesome. And we were lucky enough to watch Syracuse um, when they actually toured the UK um, and, you know, got to see, you know, some of these players. Um, you may remember the Lockerbie bombing. There was a lot of Syracuse students actually killed in that bombing. And um, if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, you know, go and check out what the Lockheed bombing was. It was a horrendous uh, uh, bomb on an aeroplane that uh, blew up over Lockerbie in Scotland. And Syracuse actually came on a tour to the UK as part of, you know, a, a memorial to those Syracuse students that died. Because there was a, quite a large number of Syracuse students on that plane. And... Um, you know, we got to see Syracuse and you know my brother became you know quite a big Syracuse fan as a kid and uh, he had his helmet all decaled up like a Syracuse helmet and I actually had this poster this poster that was actually on my brother's wall Paul and Gary Gate you know diving through the air um, this was uh, one of two posters that uh, actually pictured the, the Gate brothers um, doing the air gate I think there was one where uh, Paul was sitting in the cage and Gary was jumping over it. Um, yet to track that poster down. I'm sure it's out there and I'll find it one day. But um, like I say, we were lucky enough to watch Syracuse play, um, you know, which was awesome. And a few years later, Syracuse came back with an, you know, another team. Um, we got to see um, uh, young Casey Powell playing on that team, also wearing the, uh, the number 22. And I think it's just an iconic moment in our sport. And it kind of still captures people's imagination today. And, um, you know, if, you, if you've never seen the Airgate being done, check it out on YouTube. You know, it's a fantastic moment in our sport. And, uh, you know, I think some older guys that you know, would have either played in that era or even older lacrosse fans that would have been, you know, maybe watching in the stadium. You know, just to see somebody dive over the top of the goal must have been an absolutely electrifying moment in lacrosse. And I think that... Um, like I say, although it's not you know, the moment he did it in the, the, the pen game, but I think this image just captures something which, you know, what, 33 years later, you know, is still talked about in lacrosse. So I need to find somewhere 
in my office to hang this but you know great find find this image and um i'm going to proudly display it here somewhere at normal soul